All right, so uh, this one's going to be a bit shorter, but I figured, you know, it'd be fun to do some more of this because I want to get more into the story and possibly into some sub stories. Figure out where some of the funniness might lie. Maybe do some fishing too. But yeah, hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I've been good. Uh, just had a fairly normal day. Really cold, but that's how it'd be. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I think I passed up this person. Sorry, I couldn't help but over here. Did you say your child has been kidnapped? Sorry, who are you? I'm Kiryu. And I run in the and I run the Morning Glory Orphanage just down the road. If a kid's been abducted, well, you can understand my concern. Oh, so you're a teacher? All I know is that Takuya was taken from this from this hospital. And I just got a ransom note. We have Takuya. Come alone. But it's far too dangerous. We need to alert the authorities. I think Takuya, her boyfriend. There's got to be some twist here, right? All right, let's do this. According to the text message, they should be waiting in a vacant parking lot just ahead. Wait and see, actually. If anything happens, I'll be there in a flash. Yeah, they said to come alone, so... What happened? Hey, are you the punk who kidnapped Takia? Hand him over. Who the fuck are this guy? You're just as late as flame. Oh. Jealous guy. I thought I thought as much. There we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm so sorry. Where's Taki? It's being very okay. Oh, a dog. What? Did her ex just kidnap her dog? Oh my god. Taku is a dog? Don't call him that. He's a very important part of my family. <laughs> Are you scared little... Oh. Oh. Ugh. Use that boy. Used to be able to trick the vet of all the low-down, nasty things to do. You're twisted. But it worked, didn't it? Everything I did, I did for one less chance. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, that is creepy. Wow, that is creepy. You ask me, you really need a better way to express. Yeah, he he. Wow, that was fucking weird. So a dude kidnapped his ex's dog to try and get a chance to talk to her. That's just fucked. Hey, how's it been? Hey, combo. It's been good. Uh, just went with a side quest where a guy, <laughs> where a guy kidnapped his ex girlfriend's dog. His ex-girlfriend's dog just to get a chance to speak to her again. Which is just... I mean, setting the bar pretty high in terms of motivation for these sub-stories. 
Alright, so... Uh, we're not going to immediately jump into the main story, because I want to do some sub-stories along some other stuff. Okay, this is your booze shop. There's the taxi. Uh, is... This is where the... Yeah, that's where, that's where the Yakuza branch was. I'm just trying to get my bearings on this map. This is cookies, okay. Sweet shop. Even though the graphics are behind the times, though these colors and shaders really do give off classic Sega feels. Yeah, they... I mean, it's... I can definitely see uh, how this evolved into Yakuza 0 as well as other games in the series in terms of the graphical style, because the engine certainly evolved. I mean, I'm a, I guess this would be the feeling that somebody would get from seeing Yakuza 2 and 1 evolve into this one, and then 3 through 5 evolve into 0 and 6 and the Kiwami games. What is... Do you know who I am, you pieces? Ah. You're yeah, the same, big man! I'll take... I'll choke you with my awful shirt! Oh! So we now have preemptive, uh, QTEs. There we go. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> Fucking... Oh no, is this the... Hold on a second. I'm gonna grab this. There. That, that been bugging me. What is this? Is this a phone booth thing? What can I do for you today? Oh, oh, no, this is just a host club agency. Okay. Not just Sonic, you know, Crazy Taxi, Choo Choo Rocket, Virtua Fighter, games like the most... Yeah, yeah, of course. Because I know Sega's other types of games than Sonic. I mean, I'm playing a different Sega game, and now Sega games uh, count as publishing. So I guess technically Bayonetta is a Sega game, or wait, or is Platinum a subsidiary? No, not Bayonetta. Uh, Alien Isolation. I don't know why I thought of Bayonetta. Tantakana for a cabaret club. Okay. This is what now? Fee for one person. Oh, it's karaoke! I'm definitely gonna sing. Do some karaoke. Uh, before I do so, though, I'm gonna go turn off my space heater. Uh, give me a second. Alright, sorry about that. Had to turn that off because it would have been bugging me, and I think it's warm enough in my room now. Alright, what's the karaoke? What are the songs available? The better your timing, the more points you get. Okay. Familiarize yourself with each song, perform your technique to aim for new prizes. You can choose to switch between English and Japanese lyrics in the options menu. Okay. Sing karaoke. 
Summer Memories, Saturday Night Lover, Shooting Star, Where Has Your Touch Gone? Hmm. Which of these sounds really good? Because this is bef this is pre Bakamitai, way before Bakamitai, so I have to really think about which one would be the meme one of Yakuza Three. Where's your touch gone? I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. I guess I'll... I don't know which one to go for. This is... I guess I'll just go with this one. Oh, it's interjections. Okay, so Kamurocho Lullaby I can sing. Uh, Summer Memories is interjection. Whereas your touch gone is interjection. Saturday Night Lover is Interjection, and Shooting Star is Interjection. Wow! Literally all of them are <laughs> Interjections but this one. Well, looks like I'm singing this one then. Mouth frames for my avatar are done. Now I just need to make 2D eyes and a sketch shader today. I met with a friend in private room and they talked about one of those dos do's and don'ts on VR chat. one of them being not to play a game without a VPN. <sighs> Ooh, God, yeah. Thankfully, VPNs are cheap, so are relatively cheap, so you can you can rest a bit easy with that. On top of that, there's plenty of people that get sponsored by them and allow free trials for people. I fucked up a couple times there because, like, the speed of the cursor messed me up. Because of, um, like, it was going like, oh, I thought it'd be a bit more of a build up before hitting buttons, but no. No, the game was not that merciful. Bad, good, yes. Regular. Pro, okay, I didn't do too badly. But those are the top ones. Oh, not last. All right, well, I did it. I did a karaoke. I can now say that part of this game, two big aspects of this game have now been taken down, which are the crane games and the uh, karaoke. All right, phone booth. What is over here? That's a host club. I mean, I don't know, this is not gonna. Saya Unten, Nao Kaneshiro, Mika Tsuchiya. Let's go with now. Uh, 
Huh. A little. Uh, okay. Not my choice of dress, but okay. Likewise. What do you like? Oh, God. Zampa White. Fruity Awamori known for its mild aroma and clean, refreshing flavor. Enjoyed by everyone, but especially popular among young women. I'll go with that if it's free. Hungry at all? Let's go the fruit patter. Plat patter? Platter. This is... I guess host clubs are just everywhere. I mean, I had to do this at least once. So last month I decided to go see a fortune teller, and you know what the first thing she said? A person of great importance will soon appear in your life. So when I saw you, all of a sudden it hit me. You're that person, Kiryu-san. Is that really accurate? What do you mean by that? Good question. I think that means you're someone who will change my life. <laughs> That's quite the responsibility. Don't take it too seriously now. Although, that fortune teller does have a pretty good reputation. Wouldn't it be funny if her prediction turned out to be true? So, yeah, Kiryu-san, have you ever worn a... Bingata? I don't even know what that is. I had a feeling you'd say that. So, a Bingata is basically an Okinawan kimono, but with a couple differences. Bright colors, tropical designs, unique dyes. Anyway, my family has been making bingata since way back. My great-grandpa made one that hangs up there, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that's impressive. Is it? So... Wow, it really is kind of just Hawaii, essentially. <laughs> Show me how to wear one sometime. I mean, this is what you pay for for a host club, or a hostess club. You just, you pay to spend time with people. Or you, you just pay to have a pretty person talk to you. Okay, well, she wasn't too bad. God damn. Yeah, that's essentially what the scam part of it com comes down to, is like... Oh, you pay like ten bucks, and a and a and an attractive person spends time with you, and then all of the food and drink charges come by, and then you're suddenly just scammed out of all of your money. So cute! You're so cool. This is now. And we are going, this is now Kaneshiro, and we are going to say the English voice actor for Kiryu in the upcoming animated Yakuza movie. First is Kiryu Kazuma, being voiced by Chris Pratt. He's so cool. Sorry, I see, anytime I ever see this cool being used as an adjective for somebody, it just pops into my head. It's so hard not to think about it. He's so cool. Mash no, 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 I'm a, I am, hold a mahjong tile up to me and I will recoil like a demon to a crucifix, I cannot, like, I remember, um, I think it was in Kiwami 1 where I was, no, no, Kiwami 2 where I was reading the rules of mahjong in the game and I was just, and I just could not absorb any of it, any of it, it was just, like, it felt... Mahjong felt like how most people would f feel when they see the rules to D&D. &D. What the fuck are you staring at? Only idiots who stare at me are the ones who get their faces caved in. 
Anytime I ever... Anytime this ever happens, I'm gonna give him that voice. I just feel like it's too fitting. The way that guy was dying felt really similar to, um... God, I don't even remember what it was. I think it was like a movie from the 70s or something, judging by the wardrobe. And, um, this woman, like, shoots a bad guy, and this dude is, like, recoiling from being shot, but he's taking just so long throughout the scene to die, and he's... and. Like, she shoots him again, but it's like, if somebody tried to do slow-mo without the actual slow-mo effect. Like, it's so hilarious. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Kiryu no Yaiba. Oh! What would that... That would actually be kind of funny. What would Kiryu's style be in... in Demon Slayer? Like, would it be Dragon Breath, or would it be Essence of Heat? Hmm. Alright, that's where Invisible Wall is. Okay, so that's pretty much everything around this area. Wait, there's some small bits... Yeah, there's a small thing down that way. I'm gonna check it. But yes, yeah, sp speaking of uh, Demon Slayer... I apparently learned that one of the new characters that shows up in Season 2 uh, is in a poly relationship, which is pretty cool. I mean, I haven't, I've seen only Season 1 of Demon Slayer, but I find that quite neat. Italian Platinum Nail? Wait, what? So I got a brand cutter, a diver watch, and a nail. Wait, why the fuck would you make a nail out of platinum? Alright, this seems to be a pharmacy. Yes. Eat a steak! Legendary drinker of Ryuku. Ryukyu. Oh, so it's a hangover cure-all. Actually, let's buy... Five of these. Hey, I... There we go. You're not from Okinawa, did you? Did you come here from Tokyo? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I've never seen anyone from Okinawa wear expensive leather shoes with pointy toes like that. Can you really tell what I'm, where I'm from just because of my shoes? You kidding me, lady? I've got drip. Tell me about it. I make up for it. I promise. Sure. Tell you about Tokyo. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bar I like right near, so let's go grab some drinks. Oh no. I'm not gonna get scammed, am I? I'm Kaede, Kaede Anya, but you can call me Kaede. Kiryu, used to live in Kamurocho. Have you ever heard of it? It's one of the seedier parts of Tokyo. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna do private rooms if I can find a crew. Oh, for a VR chat? I mean, that is probably the best uh, idea because at the very least, you know nobody's gonna try to take your information in a private room like that unless someone you know, gets really stupid. But in any case, yeah, I hope that works out for you because VR chat seems like it can be a lot of fun when you own a headset, that is. 
I mean, there's so much love about Tokyo, right? All we've got here in Okinawa is fish and salty air. I don't know. I think Okinawa has its charms. But it's nothing compared to Tokyo. Oh, gee, I wish I could live... I want to be... I want to live in the big city where all the big people live. How much is rent? Oh, God, how much is rent in Tokyo? Okay, so we're talking 2009 Tokyo. How much would it be to... Let's see, so this would be roughly $1,000 for a studio. I mean, nowadays that is definitely not a deal because if you want to live in downtown Tokyo, it would definitely be more than a thousand a month. Roppongi would run you about about thirty thousand dollars, about sixty thousand yen if you if you're out in the suburbs. I'm trying to think how. Oh God. Because, like, I remember seeing a video of uh, fairly affordable small apartments in Tokyo that go for around $1,000 a month, if not a bit less. And I'm trying to gauge how that could translate into this, and it's making it hard. Because living in the inner city areas anywhere is going to be far more expensive than the suburbs. Oh, God, I have no idea. Uh... 60,000 out in the suburbs. Well, if you don't mind living in the suburbs, you can find a decent a decent apartment for about 60,000. Oh, that's actually not so bad. When you say suburbs, you're talking like one town over from Camarocho, right? More like an hour away. The only way to get recent cheap get rent that cheap is to live pretty far from the city. An hour? That's like not even in Tokyo anymore. Anyway, next question. If I do end up living in Tokyo, should I bring my car with me? Everyone's always driving around the city and stuff. Never been able to shop without a car anyways. Plus, how would I even get around? Uh, take the train, because... Like... I mean, this could be not the case for some, but... Anywhere that's got dense uh, city uh, traffic... And a subway is obviously going to be more favorable to take the subway. If not that, then walking, because, you know, why would you want to go through some awkward city streets when you just walk to your destination? Especially if you decide to live in the city. Like, if I don't know what the rate actually is, but I've heard that a lot of people in Japan that live in those dense city areas like Tokyo uh, don't have a license, even, because they're just like, we take the subway. We take the, the, the trains everywhere. Aww. Am I supposed to spend half my time on, on a train just to go buy some fish? There's more than just trains, by the way. We also have a subway, taxis, buses, anything you need. Besides, there are stores everywhere, so half the time you won't even need to get on a train at all. Okay. So, imagine how hard it would be to not have a car she hasn't lived in midwest america yet like i could not imagine how difficult transportation would be throughout the midwest without a car because you just get bored of walking through farm fields or biking or something I was at the same bar, so who's this? This is Kiryu, he's from Tokyo. We were just chatting. You're still thinking about moving? Sorry about my friend here. She's so starstruck by the big city. I keep trying to tell her that she won't last a minute up in Tokyo, but she refuses to listen. Mm, she wouldn't last. Like, she says it'd be hard without a car, and affordable living is too far out. Your friend's right, Kaede. Like, don't move to a place just because you're enamored with certain aspects of it on the surface. Like, that's why people research to move. Still, I, want, I won't know unless I try. Besides, I really want to give it a shot. Hmm, it might be tough, but if you really 
that dead set on going, there's no point in stopping you. I know you're worried, but if Kaede never gets the chance to do what she wants, she might end up resenting you for it. Did... Wait, did she just give me a burger set just because I told her about... Told her about Tokyo? I was just given a burger, a set of, a burger set, just by telling someone about Tokyo. Okay, so the sub-stories so far were taking, taking out a dude who kidnapped, who, who dognapped his ex-girlfriend's dog, and getting trying to give a reality check to somebody who's like oh i'm gonna live in the big city and become a big city slicker and i'll look so cool and kiryu just standing there awkwardly being like yeah uh you don't want to do that Whoa. too much time no money and nothing to do how about you and me kill some are you serious? This fucking dumbass. There we go. Stop. There we go. Ooh, 5,000. All right, so that was the pharmacy. So what else is down here? We have... Really... I'm being a I'm being assaulted by people with awful fashion sense. Just the mantra of Yakuza as a whole, huh? This game is a bit... I feel like the, the actual crunchiness of the game's animations are... more in this? I don't know. Like, the older graphics are making the blood and everything look more... visceral, if that makes sense. Oh, I can only order one food item? Alright, so I tried the noodles. What is... What's here? It is a... Is it a fish market? Some kind of... It's a market of some kind. Yep, fish market. Oh, this is where I take my fish that I catch. Oh. Okay. Got it. I didn't realize that I go to a specific place to sell my fish. All right, well, I think I've explored plenty. Let's do some main story stuff.
Sorry about that, my phone just decides to go off. items that I've got. Yeah, I got a worm and I got a lobster for bait. Wait. Oh, it's a valuable? Huh. Also, damn, the inventory is small in this game. Like, look at this inventory. It is minuscule. Uh, did, wasn't there a pawn shop or something? Wasn't it right here? No, it was, it was, uh, this one. Yeah. Ebisu. You don't say much. Yeah, let's sell some stuff, because I'm running low on inventory. Uh, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. And sell that. I knew I told it. All right, good. Whoa. Came here to have some fun, but I'm all in money. Hell, I don't even have enough to take it to my mom. That's why I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you up for the money, man. I'm gonna beat you up. I have my hood up in the sun in a coastal area, so I was the baddest. hard thing about this is trying to get the heat moves off right. God damn, another one? Alright. Let's go to the golf course. Because, um, if I remember right, we were attempting to, uh, find the person whose son is bullying, uh, one of Kiryu's <laughs> Uh, people and they're just like we need to get the people to stop making the bullying happening because the teacher's a douche You're a visitor. Do you have a guest pass? Uh, my deepest apologies, but this is a highly exclusive club for local businessmen and government officials only If you don't have an invitation, that's how you gonna go All right hmm? uh, You don't have a guest pass yeah, I didn't realize it was a private club. In that case, why don't you join me for a couple holes? Really? I was actually meant to meet a friend here, but it seems he won't be showing up. I suppose he has some last-minute business to attend. I'm not too fond of playing by myself. Oh god, do we have a full-on golf minigame here? <laughs> nice! On! Oh! It's Akasaka! <laughs> Wait, really? We just... Kiryu, you need to go into the lottery right now. You could buy out this entire plan if you go get a lottery ticket right now. It's Kiryu. Well then, Kiryu-san, shall we play? Let's do it. Get it? God, Kiryu, get a lottery ticket right now. Get one right now. Oh god, I do have a golf game. Oh no. Oh no, I do have to play golf. Oh no. I mean, all right. Use L1 and R1 to adjust the shot direction. Change clubs by tilting the right stick up and down. Press triangle to change the shot range to half the distance. 
use the directional buttons to change the impact point. Some points will put a spin on the ball. Hold down X to build shot power. Release X to set the power shot. After setting the power, press X just as the cursor is aligned with the ball to deliver the optimal impact. Nice shot! Hey, you're pretty good. You managed to hit X perfectly on the cursor. What? What, what? X on the cursor? What the f fuck are you talking about? You mean... You mean you didn't see that? The tutorial? Just... Practice makes perfect? Alright. Go about there. All right, I think this might do it. No, they wouldn't let me get that. No, I didn't think so. I wish games would point out the. Point out that, point that out more. Explaining what button to press, do or what gizmos are, but the, but the MC is confused. Yeah, yeah, like, just be like, oh, uh, hey, I did this per specific action. Uh, press the X button to do the dodge, and you just hear the characters go, "What? What are you saying?" Hmm. Yeah, I'm taking them. Hmm. I'm done taking mulligans. I'm gonna play chaotic. Actually, I want to mulligan on that one. <laughs> Out of bounds. Wow, this is a tough one. I'm gonna get a bogey at this, I just know it. How the fuck did he manage to get that shootout super far? Wow, this is just, this is just 
Sl How the fuck am I supposed to get it? All right, well, that helped it get some more distance. This is pretty abysmal. Like I'm like my only golf experience from video games is Wii Sports. So this is pretty slow. <laughs> Fucking how? How? This guy's on crack. Well, fair to say, I'm not fucking playing that again. I think it's a little too hard. Don't worry, that happens to everyone when they're first starting out. You need some more practice. Now, shall we head to the next hole? Holy shit, I went over. Oh, God, I, please don't tell me I have to play a full nine holes with this guy. Please don't tell me I have to play nine holes. I run an orphanage called Morning Glory. Wow, taking care of all those children is quite a task. It's not easy, sure. But nothing makes me happier than seeing them smile. Haha, <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm glad to know you enjoy you enjoy your work and what vital work it is. Now let's get this whole started. Oh wait, maybe I'm not supposed to get to the top. Ah. <laughs> okay, I think I might get the hang of it. Uh, somehow. <laughs> Actually, let's take a mulligan on that one. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I get it. Hmm. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm understanding what I'm supposed to do. I think. I don't think. I'm so sorry for this. I just legitimately am not getting what I'm understanding what I'm getting wrong here. How, how does he get such distance though? I'm not getting it. I'm I <laughs> Is it I Is it <laughs> uh, What? <laughs> I 
I'm getting nice shots, but what? Huh? What? What? <laughs> I don't get it. I'm trapped in golfing hell and I can't understand what's going on. All right, I'm not taking a mulligan on that. Oh God, I can't even see where my shot's gonna go. This, this, this is, this is, hmm. I don't, <laughs> hmm. help me. <laughs> wow, this is, hmm. this is actually awful. Eggs. No, I want eggs. <laughs> it's story vital. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just, I'm not taking the mulligans. <laughs> like, they weren't perfectly aligned, weren't they? His, the guy's shots? I'm, I'm on stroke nine, fuck it. I... I do not understand. Yeah. I, I do not get it. Speaking of the orphanage, Kiryu-san, how many kids do you have there? Nine, all in elementary school. And you take care of all of them by yourself? Do you have any helpers? No, but the oldest girl, Haruka, takes on a lot of that responsibility. She'll be starting sixth grade next month. And the chores are divided up between all the kids. Everyone has to help out. How wonderful. Too many kids these days sit around and watch sit around watching TV while their parents do all the work. Now, shall we head to the next hole? No. 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 I do not. Okay, thank God, it's just three holes. Oh, man, I don't think I could handle another one of those. As a professional, Kiryu-san, what are your thoughts on the youth of today? Well, things were definitely different when I was a kid. But with how drastic the world has changed, I guess that's not much of a surprise. I mean, for the love of God, I used to perform heat moves on all the other people that would walk down the street. I'd say the real problem is that we, is that we spoon-fed everything to kids nowadays. There's no room for imagination anymore. Back in my day, we'd come up with games we could play all, all together when we were bored. Oh, Kiryu, you are acting like such a boomer. Like, like I understand, you know, have kids play stickball with sticks and pine cones, but... Some kids just prefer different activities, man. And since we had a lot of kids of different ages, we had to make the rules as we went were fair for everyone. We didn't want to exclude anyone just because of their age or ability. It was through those playground games that we first learned about co cooperation and what it means to help others. These days, though, it's all about video games and the internet. From what I hear, most kids would rather stay in their rooms than go play outside. Well, because there's that's because there's disease and civil war outside. True, we didn't have any of those luxuries when we were young. Children nowadays certainly have it good, but in a way, I feel sorry for them. Bullying seems to have grown more prevalent as well. I will admit it's always been present, but incidents appear to be even more malicious recently. Perhaps the children of today lack basic consideration for their fellow students. Looks like it, yeah. 
Okay, so I need to get the yellow bar higher. How do I get the yellow bar higher? Start swing build power, set impact timing. Okay, something... Okay, I'm double tapping. That's what it is. I needed to hold it. I thought it was press it because I was used to Mario Golf. Hmm. You ever felt like you miss? I missed such a basic... Hmm fucking thing in the controls. Super basic. God damn it. I feel so dumb. Like, what? I had to hold the button. Oh my god. I feel like I feel like such a fucking chode, or not a chode. I just feel stupid. I I'm. <sighs> yeah, that that's a that's a moment of brilliance. That's definitely gonna come back. Ugh. Like it. It was hold, not press. Oh. I've been... Oh... I was... I... God damn it. Mulligan. Because fucking... Oh my god. Alright, now I'm on the green. No. Oh. Hmm. Nope, too far. Hmm. Uh. All my practice at putt putt golf has failed me. I'm not taking mulligans. That's the closest I'm going to get. Oh my god. I mean, any solace in this could be that I managed to actually get the controls at the end of this. <laughs> Kiryu-san, I have another question about your children, if you don't mind. How do they spend their free time? Well, they don't. we don't have, any, have a computer or any games, so for most part, they just play together outside. All the older kids really took after the young ones, too. Look after the young ones, too. It's like we're one big family. Sounds lovely. Would it be alright if I paid you a visit sometime? Of course, I'd be glad to. Yeah, that was... that was awful. I have to thank you for the match. Golf isn't much without an enjoyable conversation to go with it. If I had the chance to stop by your orphanage. We'd love to have you. Perhaps there's some way in the city could support a charitable work you've done for those children. Hey, man. Uh, ah, and before I forget, I signed you up for on my permanent guest list, so you'll be free to visit the club whenever you... P 
God damn, Kiryu gets free golf whenever. Which, again, golf, but that's something. Do we get cutscene of Kiryu beating up Teacher now? Nice thing to say about Morning Glory. I bet that'll make Sh Shiro feel better. All right, let's go to Morning Glory. Let's let's do some fishing because I want to clear my head from all of that golf. See you, man. See you, combo. Thanks for dropping by. Holy shit! I don't. That was. Oh, I feel so dumb. Oh, Akasaka-san. Good to see you again, Kiryu. Hope I'd stop by, didn't I? Yeah, I thought I wasn't expecting you so soon. <laughs> Cross. Oh, once an idea crossed my mind, I just had to follow through. Taichi in the house. Uncle Kaz. You forgot to say hello to our guest. And take off your shoes before you go inside. Oh, I guess. Tadaima. So no use, yeah, Maketaka. Oh, my God, said I got Ginkina Kodomo this na. Are you okay? Ah, I said, Shiro. はじめまして、シロです。ほう。ちゃんと挨拶もしっかりできて気持ちのいい子だ。おい。あんたが桐生だな。この子供にあんたはどういう教育してるんだ。見ろ。喧嘩で朝だらけだ。わあ、シロ
pardon me, just gonna bump my stream on Twitter. So we have a worm, a lobster, and I th I can use a burger. <laughs> I-I can use a burger as bait. I-I mean, Haruka's candy was used as bait, so... Shouldn't shock me too much, but... Dear God. <laughs> Imagine using a Happy Meal as fishing bait. Like, ima imagine that. Imagine using a McDonald's fry as a bait for f fucking fishing. I'm gonna use the burger. I, I was debating on what bait to use. Sorry. All right. There. Use it. Please, for the love of God, don't let it be another piece of coral. That is now a burger out in the ocean. All right, let's try the lobster. I, I mean, I guess a fish wouldn't be enticed by a burger. As heretical as that sounds. I, the only Easy. fish I want is one that'd be able to eat a McDonald's fry whole. I got it. I guess I didn't. Eagles not be another piece of fucking coral. It's ten it's worth ten dollars, yes, but I want an actual fish. Motherfucker! Oh, 
Well, at least this piece of coral is slightly bigger than the last piece of coral I caught. I am so annoyed right now. Like, I'm so annoyed. I swear to God, by the end of this game, I will catch one goddamn fish. I will get one. I, I... I'm gonna try again, and then I'll head into more story. See a... What is that, a seashell? Is there not a box over there with something in it? No? Cool. Alright. Let's try this again. Eagles Missed. Damn it. All right. I'll stop. I see a box, and if it's bait, I'm gonna... I can't stop. My, my fisherman's instincts are just making me want to keep going, because I like fishing. A rainbow alloy? Okay. Not yet, sorry. Sounds like Taichi and Ayako, Ayako are up in arms over something. Money? I don't have it right now. Could you wait until I get my allowance? Well, that's not till next week, and the new Ninja Rangers manga comes out today. All the kids at school are gonna read it before me. I'm sorry, Taichi. Ugh, whatever. What? Uh. What? Why didn't you pay Taichi back, Ayako? Did you lose the money or accidentally spend it? Um, come on, this isn't like you. When you borrow something from someone, you make sure to give it back. Get back the money. Someone stole it. Jesus, what is with it? What is with all the other kids besides Kiryu's orphan kids that are just giant assholes? Keep all the money in my wallet inside my bag. So whoever stole it would have known it was in there. All right, I'm gonna head get to the bottom of this. Ayako, we have to find out what happened. This is money, we're, money. Money. Good Lord. Can you two go into the dining room for me? What's wrong? Just need to have a family discussion. Tell you later. Yeah, dining room. All right, anyone else that's around? There they are. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna imagine it was Shiro that stole the money. If if it's one of the other kids. Cause yeah, I guess it wouldn't have gotten stolen by a kid at school. Cause if it was, I would have been like, Jesus, these kids. Ah. I need my money for the manga. Looks like someone stole the money ah. from Ayako. Like someone here? 
All right. Watch it suddenly be like Majima popping out from the floorboards like, that's right, Kyuyu-chan, I stole the brat's money. Like something like that. I feel like there might be moments at some point where somebody will dub over the, uh, the, the, anybody remember, like, they'll take a Majima scene and they'll dub it over with that, uh, monologue of the reverse flash going, remember when you were making out with your first girlfriend? Like that one? The jerked off at super speed thing? I, I imagine something like that could happen with Majima, and I want that to be a thing. All right, is that all of them? No, I'm missing a few. Where are they? Okay, no, that's not the right one. All right, I need to get her into the dining room. The kid's walking animation is so funny looking. Is that... No, one more. Where's the other one? Where's the last kid? I didn't even realize I can go back behind the uh, house like this. Alright, so where would the last one be? Oh my god, I didn't even mean to... Oops. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I'm just... I'm trying to find where this last one is, and I'm... And I accidentally went to the city. Where the fuck is the... Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck are they? Like, it... I'm missing one, but I don't know where, where they are. I mean, I didn't check in here. Oh. Huh? Yep. Washroom, of course. Yep. Laundry room. I should have... I should have known. I didn't even fucking think about this hallway. That's pretty much all we know. Ayako's really worried, and rightfully so. The money got taken right out of her wallet, after all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do, but if one of you stole the money, I need you to speak up. If one of you is the real Slim Shady, please stand up. Where did you first notice it was gone? I think it was two days ago. All right. Anything weird, strangers? I think I saw something. Riona was digging around in Ayako's bag. Riona? Borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her bag. Oh my god, it's Among Us. It's suddenly all Among Us. Don't they say the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? Good lord. 
We're done here. This was clearly a mistake. Somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not going to keep sitting here f feeling at, flinging accusations at each other's. It's not what families are about. That's what people with weird message boards are about. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever. The only thing that accomplished was making everyone doubt each other. Sus. Wait, did Kiryu just say the only way to do this is to go through their things? Kiryu. What were you doing in here, Ari? Nothing. That's Ayako's bag, right? You know you can't dig around there without her permission. Come on, just tell me what you were doing. Or is there a reason you don't want to say? No! Found her looking through your bag. Something else missing? No, nah, the money's back in my wallet. For what reason? For what purpose did Ares steal the money? Sorry, the, the, the box is enticing me. Another rainbow alloy. Time told me what's going on. So it was you. Promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I don't have any money. Then why'd you promise? I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they want more allowance. Wow, this real parent thing is... God damn, these, these poor kids. And you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. Please. Aww. So she wanted to go to the movies with her friends. Like, d ask first! You know? Yeah, just go say you're sorry. This kind of is just turn like... It's like Sazai-san, but with Kiryu. あ、私、ありがとう。そして、ごめん。え、なんでなんであやこちゃんが謝るのほ、本当はね、私、エリちゃんがお金持ってくところ見ちゃってたんだ。でもね、私、私 その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかった。エリちゃんのことを本当に思ったら私あの場で言うべきだった。後悔してるんだ。私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに勇気がなかった。私にもっと勇気があれば。こんな大きなことにならなかったのに。だからごめん。私も許して。ごめんね。ごめんね。Oh。Wholesome moments. Are we dealing with the fact that our I mean the all right, well, I guess I know the guy that we're going to be rooting for for Prime Minister. All right. 
Uh, what's wrong? Um, everyone's so angry. I wonder what they're gonna do when they find out Eri took the money. I mean, Koji and Riona are already fighting. No one's going to hate it. We'll just talk. Talking. Talking solves all, goddammit. Communication. Good lord. I feel like communications classes at this point need to become mandatory for people nowadays. Another box. All right, what the fuck is a dropper? What what did I just get? Oh, an eye dropper. Oh, I didn't understand what it was what it was saying. I was like, a dropper? What the fuck does it mean by that? I don't get the terminology. All right, Ayako's money's back. Not so fast. I actually have to apologize. I usually found some money, but I, but I guess it slipped my mind. But you were missing, right? Meaning there's a good chance the money Ari found yesterday is the same money that was missing. Wouldn't? Wouldn't it be a better lesson to be like, hey, so we found, so Ari stole the money, but she's apologized. We apologize for causing all of you distress. N no, wouldn't it? What? I don't think that was the right call. Uh, good lord. Yeah, that... I think this lesson could have been wrapped up a bit better now. So now it's making dinner. Got the curly hair, I saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in the blue truck, probably spying on us again. Really? All right, I guess I guess they're like, yeah, we made you go through an Among Us uh, Children's Allowance Edition, so we're gonna let you have a boss fight. Where'd he go? Do I have to head over to Ryukyu? Wait, where'd he go? Are they stick fighting? Oh. They're sword fighting with sticks. Is the snake guy in here? Where the fuck is he? Is he in the beat? Is he at the beach? No. Or is he? Eh? So it was head to the beach. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
どうしても頼みたいことがあって。Kind of favor are we talking? It's got to do with the little lady. You mean the girl with the sketchbook? That's right. Two nights ago, she just disappeared. No one knows where she is. Okay, so got to do some searching to help with the thing. So this is how he gets acquainted with the、uh, Yakuza here. Got it. She's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. Now the boss is taking care of the girl, yeah? But he never adopted her. If the cops found out about that, she'd ship. Oh. Oh, a real scum of the earth, let me tell you. Her dad gambled all their money away and then some. And then some. Then. Then would come home stinking of booze and then beat the daylights. Oh. Oh. Three years back, we got asked to collect, her, collect on her dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their house, but, we walked in, but when we walked inside, what happened? He found the guy dead, hanging blue face from a rope in their living room. Saki san still clutching her lifeless, his lifeless leg. And her mom? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. Really? Fuckboy was a term in 2009. I didn't learn about that term until like 20. fucking 14? 15? Like it was around the Vine boom, I think, when Vine was getting super popular. Lady、like、never gave a single shit about her. Boss looks scary, sure, but he's got a good heart. He pulled a sword on you, but he's a good man. Complained at first about how much trouble it was raising a kid, but it wasn't as long till he ended up being like, all right. She wants to take Saki back. Why not after all this time? Beats me. Okay, so the mom essentially is just like, I need. I want, my, I want my girl back so she can be cleaner while I go get my coochie stuffed. I want to get my clam jammed. Call him, not a chance of hell. Girls. What? Oh. That's fair. I mean, knowing what I know from Yakuza Zero, trauma induced things like blindness, like muteness and blindness. I look, I didn't realize that emotional trauma could actually cause stuff like that, but I guess it's the case considering, you know, what we know from Yakuza Zero. So you see, she can't call us, and that's why she has that sketchbook. Come on, Aniki. We gotta find her as soon as possible. Excuse me a moment, just gonna have some water. だからここは兄貴しか収められねえとちょっと待てはいさっきから聞いていると俺のことを兄貴兄貴って何言ってるんだ I mean you kicked my shit in buddy 兄貴は兄貴じゃないですかお前は流動一家の若頭だろう俺はお前の兄貴分でも何でもないまあその話はいいとしてよくないお前みたいなやつに兄貴と呼ばれたらうちの子供たちに悪影響だろうが別にいいじゃないですか俺は兄貴の子供たちに呼ばれたんです俺にとって兄貴は兄貴なんですじゃあシモン車を回してきますんでお願いします兄貴 I mean It's not like you can't really hide the fact of former Yakuza because you've got that tattoo on, you, on your back. Because, like, if you looked at it nowadays, it's like, okay, we've got this guy living in Okinawa who has a really detailed dragon tattoo on his back. It's just a cool tattoo. But remember, this is Japan. In Japan, there's still, like, a stigma around people with tattoos and, like, 
how tattoos are viewed by their society, so... I don't know. I don't remember agreeing to this. Well, I've come this far, might as well see it through. Okay. Oh, do I get heat moves with him now? It's a public street, stay out of my way, look at my cool tank top. See, this guy has at least got some decent enough fashion sense. Nice! <laughs> Perfect way to end it. Man, I don't think I've ever seen a dropkick work in real life, though. Like, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen a dropkick actually work. Like, the only time I've ever seen somebody legitimately try to dropkick was... I think it was um, that one video from the... Uh, fan meetup that someone, that Arnold Schwarzenegger did where a guy tried to drop kick him. Damn. あ、Why do you want this time? I'm not in the mood to talk about the land problem. Rikia told me what's going on with Saki. Uh, that's Rikia. Can't keep his fucking mouth shut. It's like, he, it's like when he doxed someone. Ugh. Why don't you go look for her? I can't. Wouldn't be so miserable if it was... What do you mean? She ran away because the water lit. It said I was old and the boomer and went to go draw. You don't know that for sure. Why don't you try to go figure what she, figure out why she ran away? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. Rikia told me that Saki's mom had been looking out for, her, looking out for, been out looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same fucking difference. Her mom's probably high income with all them video games and bullshit. God damn it. Am I really worse than some miserable whore? Nakahara. Guess a Yakuza kid. That's not true at all. All children need is someone who really truly cares about them. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. The f the fuck it does! It, the f it kinda does, Kiryu. It k kinda does. Huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. I... I mean, I don't know anybody in organized crime, so... I can't really say in terms of organized crime people being good parents or not, but, um... I think Kiryu's logic there wasn't exactly too sound. Since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father to me than I've ever had. He might have been Yakuza, yeah, but I loved him all the same. I'm sure Saki loves you too, but it's natural for her to miss her mom. She's still just a kid, after all. You think that... Now get out there and find her before someone else does. 
Why not? You really think that? You really think so? I'm I'm just gonna do it for that. I think that's funnier. <laughs> just perplexed at the mumbles. わかった。俺がさっきから話を聞いてやる。え、なんでお前さんが俺もな、あんたと一緒で目の前に困っている<笑> Yeah, it's like, land's got nothing to do with it, man. My God. A person with common decency. I just noticed that he's got two pineapples and a watermelon on that shrine. All right, but if we're really gonna look for her, I don't have much, the slimmest idea. Focus on the area right around the office. Combed every last nook and cranny. Nobody's seen her. You don't know where her mom lives? Uh. Nope, sorry to say. Where have you not looked? Nowhere she'd likely to turn up. Hatsumachi. Place of the biggest red light district. Chock full of hostess clubs, brothels, all sorts of smut a kid's not gonna go anywhere near. Besides, it's Tamashiro's family turf. Things would get real hairy real fast if we showed our faces over there. And it's settled. We're going to Hatsumachi. I'm gonna... I'm, I wanna go to hostess clubs and look at pretty ladies. Alright, so basically go to Red Light District. Got it. Ah, oh, that's right, it's like the the one time without, uh, one time where we actually have cars that interfere with traffic. Saki, huh? Some woman I'd never seen before, something felt real off about the whole thing. I'm sure it was her? Convenience store at the intersection with some woman who was absolutely dressed to the nines. You really think she went back? Hard to say, the only way to know she did, ask her, find the way. We're gonna have a party. T wow, is the boss's birthday on top of all this? God damn. Yeah, fucking don't stand and talk. What's this dude's deal? There's a truck that's always parked at this one particular spot in Hatsumachi. I heard it's loaded with some real suspicious merchandise. Like what? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but there's always shady looking characters around it. Some people moving in there. Oh wait, I guess I was already there. Yeah, because I was at the hostess club. Kitschy shirt. What the fuck is that word? Kitschy? Kitschy shirt? Oh shit. Who are you? Me? Who the fuck are you? Don't tell me you don't know who you're waddling all over Tamashiro family territory. Tamashiro? Sorry, never heard of him. I usually try to keep my nose out of the Yakuza. 
Bullshit! It's clear that's damn Osaka Okinawa Sky what you're due for a living. I'm telling the truth, and even if I was a Yakuza, I'm not here looking for trouble. I suggest you leave us be. Or else. Wait, is that Rikia back there? Your little game of hide and seek's not gonna work on me. Yeah, little shart. Not Yakuza, you're hanging out with this dude. What brat? I don't got time for 20 questions. 20 questions. It's the fight, trespass, or punch game, yeah. There we go! That's what I wanted to do. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see a heat move on a bar to really feel the back crunch. This guy really eats his spinach. This brat you mentioned, who was it? You listening, you little shark? Open your mouth or I'll open it for you. Now, did you kidnap Saki or not? Look, we didn't take nobody. Some bitch claiming to be the girl's mom brought her in. What could her mom possibly have to do with Tamashiro? Duh, the tramp's sleeping with the... Ah. Probably doesn't realize she's just another notch on the bedpost for him. Ugh. Look, we don't have her in a cage or nothing. She and her mom could be anywhere. I think there's more to this than you're letting on. Maybe we should pay your boss a little visit. Rikia, where's Tamashiro office? Are you out of your fucking rocker, boy? Your boy's right, they're gonna tear you limb from limb and then use your limbs to build another Kiryu and tear that one limb from limb. Wait, their office is really that close? All right. I mean, yeah, but we're not really gonna walk in there by ourselves. They'll pulverize us. What, you scared? Me? I ain't scared of a goddamn thing. Saki sketchbook. Something wrong, Aniki? Okay, so Saki's in here. Good to know. What? Who? Oh, I'm sorry. Another one of Tamashiro's grunts, huh? Do I need to teach you a lesson too? Wait, please. Just look at me. Do I seem like a Yakuza to you? I have a plaid shirt, you see. You have a point, but you do look familiar. Anyway, if you're not with the Tamashiro, what are you doing walking into their office? Well, I have a uh, deal to make with them. You know how it is. I mean, you're obviously Yakuza. God damn, Kiryu just cannot be pegged but for anything else, can he? Not anymore. I'm not. Not anymore, I'm not. I'm just here to take care of some business. Oh. Well, I'm Kamiyama. What is your name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Why does it feel as though I know that name? Anyway, I, in, I deal in certain choice items. They've been in high demand lately, if I do say so myself. It sounds like the Tamashiro are going to war soon, so they need- so they asked me to bring some of my stuff over. And let me guess, by stuff you mean weapons? You don't have to scream! The whole town's gonna hear! But, if you're gonna do t go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tamashiro, I might be able to lend a hand if you catch my drift. I thought they were one of your customers. 
Well, yeah, but they're one of the customers you wish you could get rid of, but can't because they pay your rent. They're like the Karens that occasionally bring in expired coupons and bitch to the manager, but they do pay roughly a thousand dollars worth of merchandise, so you let it slide occasionally. Hold on a second. I never said a word about wiping anyone out. No need to be coy about it. I've been in this business for a long time. Ripped guys like you are the brawling type, it's obvious. You've probably been in more fights than I can count. I've done more heat moves than that too. Out of a weapon on you or burst in when you bust in there, you can go in empty handed. Alright. Uh huh, so that's the truck. So this is where I get my weapons. Jesus Christ! The only shop in town that sells the kind of underhanded stuff you're looking for. This guy here is an this guy here is an associate of mine. It's uh huh, quite a setup. Hey, don't mock not mobility. Don't knock mobility. Anything that can get you away in, from the fuzz in a pot is a positive. My shop is owned on the second floor of a building near Ryudo office. That's where I sell gear and mod stuff too. <laughs> All right. Extendable staff. Equip armors, accessories, and weapons. Yep. <laughs> so, so this. Mention you to him. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to have a student as beefy as you. It's holler. Okay. So basically, I've unlocked. I've unlocked my weapon shop. Good to know. Ooh, I can get an upgrade. Um, let's do... Actually, I've been rarely ever, ever to get, get in heat mode. Let's see, how much am I at? At seven. Actually, I'd like to do that. Even if I don't get in heat mode very often, it'd be nice to at least have that. Okay. Let's do this. あれだお前。ゆうどいっかなやつか。さっきはどこだ。あのガキのことか。ガキならお親分の部屋だ。だが、お前はあのガキに会う前に死んじゃうけどね。ザコに言おうね。<笑><笑> Nice, nice try, store brand Majima. You are not gonna... Nah. <laughs> nice try, store bot Majima. You are not gonna be able to do anything. That broke, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Okay, item to be broken. <laughs> Break it with fist. Or break it with bat. That works too. Actually, I wanna try the, the uh, baton, see if anything cool is done with that. Oh my god! 
Oh my god! Kiryu, that man is dead. Guy with sword. sword go. There it is. Alright, got him. There we go. Nice. Another one? More sword. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, can I just... Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Charge up. I'm gonna try and do a cool thing. There we go. Cardboard box. Animation is really cool. Building up heat quickly. All 
All right, let's try a heat move. Ooh. Ooh. That was cool. All right. Was that all of them? That was all of them. Saki. Yudo ikka no shinri ka. Hitori de tobikonde kuru to wa ii dokyo da.俺は流動一家じゃない。その子を取り返しに来ただけだ。何をおかしなこと言ってんだ。この崖に用があるのは中原だけだろうが。理由はどうでもいい。とにかくその子を返してもらうぜ。ふざけんな。大事な取引の材
This guy's fucking Kingdom Hearts cuts, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, kind of uh, hurt sounds. Alright, I can upgrade again. There we go. I should have brought brass knuckles. That would have made this cooler. Uh, get your health a little. Yeah, I just need some health. getting tough. Actually, wait, is this a weapon? No. Oh, it's an accessory. Doing better. Damn, he comboed my ass. There we go. Okay. That was a bit dicey, but I did it. Well, he was a fairly tough fight. Let's see, cool Yakuza grandpa or mom who tried to essentially
What? <笑>何が娘よ。何が母親よ。バカじゃないの、あんたたち。何私はね、この子の性で人生めちゃくちゃになったのよ。生まれた時からいつも邪魔だった。このまま、お城の前じゃなんてこと。うるさい。私に触ら
Yeah, why did he have to bother? He has to bother. 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 ミノシロとして土地権利書を取引するつもりだったのでしょう。くそ、タマシロネロ。手の込んだ真似しやがって。タマシロ組のような強引な土地買収を続ければ、いずれ大ごとになるのは明白です。リゾート開発にヤクザ
やっぱりそうじゃねえ大事なのは俺ら沖縄の人間が愛せるままの沖縄ってことなんじゃねえのか一度東京に行けばわかりますよいかに沖縄が日本にとって必要のない小さな島なのかってことが私は何としても沖縄を豊かにしたいそのためなら多少の犠牲は必要だと思っていますその犠牲が俺らの土地ってわけかええ沖縄には海や砂浜は腐るほどあります I mean, it makes sense because if a town's got no real reason to make, no real ability to keep making money for itself, it's just gonna fizzle out. Okay. ですが。ご安心ください。俺が六代目のうちは、沖縄にあって出しませんよ。本当だな。ええ。俺は嫌ってほど、キリュウさんの怖さ知ってます。I mean, you literally beat the shit out of me. A couple times, I think. I think. トウモ君の夢は、彼が総理大臣になった時にでもやってもらいましょう。な、トウモ君。その頃はもう、キリュウさんもいい年になって。今面倒見てる子供さんたちも今の俺くらいの年にはなってますよ。それならいいでしょう。Jesus, don't need to fucking shove it in it, like rub it in his face like that. <laughs> But yeah, I want to see, I would now want to see like old badass Kiryu, like Komaki from、uh, Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2. あのよ兄弟うんなんだあんたもしかしてあの登場会の四代目ってわけじゃねえよなそれがどうしたえ嘘だろ四代目っつったらよこっちの人間でも知ってるぜ確か道島のりってあああああ,あ,あんたひょっとしてキリュウまあ今度から喧嘩を売るときはちゃんと相手のことを調べてからにする。Yeah! Yeah! なんかとんでもねえやつと、さがずきかわしまったぜ。まあ、そんなこともあるさ。くー。Never heard Kiryu make that noise. All right, let's save. So, yeah, essentially,、uh, Toma believes that Okinawa will fizzle out if it's not going to get any kind of extra stimulation in regards to its、uh, income of money and. Tourism or anything else in the way of industry. But the locals are like, no, we want our Okinawa the way we want it, which is the way we like it. But the way they like it is not going to last for very long. Hi, Kiryu, what is that? Kashiwagi. So now we're caught up to speed. I'm going to go to the hospital. どういうことなんですか ?1 時間くらい前に本部の会長室で撃たれた。詳しいことはまだわからん。だが、どうも本部にいたやつの話によると
六代目を撃った男は風間の親父そっくりだったらしい。But he's. I really am curious on how Kazuma's alive. So, r a s i n a t o n i k u Joko g a w a k a r i s h i n a k s So, yeah. Do. Do s a n s k a Aniki. Do you are a Tokyo demo? Tojo Kai no Roku Dai Mega Utaratashi. So, that each in my. 兄貴とうちの親父が杯き交わした時売却にしてくれたあの。おそらく大悟を撃ったのはその絵の男なんですかああそうらしいな。Doc, how's the boss? We've done all we can to stabilize his condition. The next week or so should be critical, or so will be critical. Is he going to, is he going to make it? It's hard to say with absolute certainty. Shot three times at po- Oh my god! Luckily, the bullets all appear to have narrowly missed his vital or- See now this one, see now. He ought to. <laughs> Damn, the boss ought to go get her lottery ticket or something. Holy shit. Yeah. What are the odds he'll pull through? The moment, say it around 50 50. Oh no. But remember, he managed to call an ambulance entirely on his own. Wow. That is some fucking Ted Roosevelt shit. God damn. Shot three times point blank and got the ambulance on his own. Damn. What's up, Haruka? Are you gonna go back to Kamarocho? I don't know if I am. Huh? Why not? I have a life here now. Responsibilities. I don't have time to go running off in Tokyo at the drop of a hat and start staring at more hostesses. But if you don't, we're gonna lose the orphanage, right? It's hard to say. Because Kazuma stole the deed to the orphan. Kazuma question mark. <sighs> oh my god, there's a box and a shiny in the back. Well, uh, I want to go to Kamarocho with you. Huh? I know you're going to try and get the deed back, Aniki. Which means finding the guy who shot the boss. Please, you've got to take me with you. Rikia. Oh, and Mikio said can stick around the hospital while we're gone. He's on board if he's me. He's on board if it means us getting back what, the, what that asshole did to the boss. And Saki? What happens to her? Uh. Look, I'm glad you want a revenge for your boss, but who's going to be there to look after Saki if you're not around? Well, uh.、Yeah. Really? Stay at the orphanage. It's not.、Uh, that's. Well, I mean. Huh. Probably really lonely with her dad in the hospital and everything, and maybe be good for her to spend time. Yeah. Yeah. Let her socialize. I have a new friend to play with, too. They could do a nice、uh, group drawing, group sketch. Did you trust me? We take care. Yeah, I mean, Haruka does put a lot of trust. I did get the meter up. Aniki, I want to go stare at pretty hostesses too. That's why I want to go to the h o s t e s s Okay, 
支度でもしてこいはい力也のことも頼んだえあいつはここに置いていく今のカムロ町は危険すぎる Those hostesses will eat him alive おじさん The crane gains will drain his wallet Getting kind of chilly, let's head inside I'm gonna stay out for a little longer Don't forget to wipe your feet off before you go in don't like sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Don't bring in the sand, guys. Oh, and a locker. That wasn't there before, was it? Alright. Let's do one little bit of night fishing and then, uh... If I can save at some point, I'd actually like to end stream soon. Alright, let's do this. Oh, damn! You go there. Please do not be another piece of coral. Got it. Okay. Uh, I mean, if knowing my luck, it probably would have been another goddamn piece of coral. <laughs> like, why? Why do I keep getting coral? Why? Why? God damn it. Can't sleep? Yeah, I guess there's a lot on my mind, but you need to wait for me until... Alright, let's hit the hay, and I guess when once we... I guess uh, we're probably going to reach Kamarocho before I end the stream tonight. I mean, I could save now, but it wouldn't hurt. Oh, it's the dog! Eh? You're gonna get this? What? What? Wait, isn't that the dog that they were taking care of? What did? What the dog doing? Ah, oh, shit. I know where that dog's from. Language, Mikio. Now tell me about this dog. Well, he used to live over at, e at an east. Izakaya and uh, Hatsumachi. 
quiet little fella back then. Not the maniac he is now. Honestly, he's so out of his mind I didn't even recognize him at first. But he's de definitely the same dog. The guy who ran the place shipped us... Shipped on up to Tokyo a while ago, though. Guess he had just a... Oh. Alright, what, what the dog doing? Never mind, I guess we're finding a dog. At least I can go check out the uh, coin locker that I found. Any ice cream. Uncle Kaz is just gonna say the same thing. Damn it, kid, you're not listening to words coming out of my mouth. I need to see a guy named Kazuma Kiryu. What's going on here? Wait, are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, what what do you want with one of my kids? I don't appreciate people pressuring them to buy ice cream. Kazuma Kiryu, I've come for you. Yeah, that's right. I know you. I know you know Kamiyama. I trained Kamiyama using in the use of a bunch of weapons that he carries. I'm kind of a master at him. A weapons master, you might say. Name's Yosh Yonashiro. Oh. So a new apprentice. Or the new weapons master guy. Understandable, but I'm not a rich dude. I spend most of my time selling ice cream on the beach. Kamiyama's my pupil, but he also sells me weapons at a discount because I'm such a great guy. And because I'm such a great guy, I can't refuse him when he says, ask me to do something. Sure, let's learn from him. Alright, so I guess I gotta... F Wait, do I gotta fight him? Wait, where'd he go? I guess he'll be in the city? All right, well, anyway, let's go save at the city, and then we will end it off there. Okay. Well, uh, some eventful stuff happened, but I think that's a good enough spot to end, if any. So thank you all for joining me on the stream tonight. Uh... I'll probably switch back to Shin Megami Tensei 5 after this one, but I'll be going alternate between uh, this and SMT, and after I finish this, uh, I'll definitely keep going with Yakuza 4. So, yeah. Hopefully, you all enjoyed yourselves here, and uh, I'll update you all on stream stuff. Uh, str since my spring semester is starting soon, I'm going to be having to arrange some stuff, but I'll let you all know on updates and schedules and all that. Just keep an eye on Twitter, keep an eye here on Twitch. Uh, for when I go live, y you know the whole shebang. So, yeah, thank you all for joining me here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.